Hi, Rekha. Welcome. Hi, Rosalind. Nice to see you. Nice to see you all too. Hi, Rose. Hi, Vatla. And thank you for Hi, joining Rose. us oh, all the way from Hi, India. Rekha. And how is... Yeah, how's things in... It's, it's, it's good. Same yeah. as in uh, Malaysia, we are staying at home. We are in lockdown as well. Okay. How is your lockdown there? Is it it's like can you go out or are you restricted? Yeah, or? it's not a complete lockdown. It's a partial lockdown where one family member can go out to buy the essential services. The groceries and everything is open, but for a restricted timing, not for the entire day, maybe. Oh, okay, same like here. So yeah, when are you planning yeah. to come back to Malaysia? Once the flights start, are resumed, you know, I'm waiting actually. <laughs> okay, so the flights haven't resumed yet. It's just there. No, no. Okay. The, I think even in uh, both in Malaysia and in Chennai, the airport has been closed. So I'm waiting for the commercial flights to be okay soon. Okay, okay, okay. So take it as a good break. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what you want to ask her anything before we go into our our session of uh, how do I say? Okay, let's not say bully. I want to just use the word of bully in you for a while, and then I don't know. No, I just um, wish you to be safe there, stay at home, be safe the virus, and don't disappear <laughs> to another person. Yeah, just be safe and. Uh, um, we just waiting for all these things to be over. You at our business shower. Um, so yes, we can just go on with the session right now. Okay, okay, Rekha. So my first question to you is: uh, I am sure we know you very well. We have been together since you started. I'm so happy to see your progress, and I'm very proud of you. You are an inspiring lady. Who have uh, who I know for sure when I want something related to your category, you're always there for me. So thank you very much. But I want the world, Facebook world, to know you as well. So please tell us about you and your business and what actually made you to start the business that you are doing currently. Okay. So first, uh, thanks to both Rose and Vatsla for giving me the opportunity. Um, I should say not just now. From the beginning, both of you have been. Um, very helpful towards me. You've always been open whenever I come there for any ideas, be it from simple stickers to marketing to anything. You you both have always been uh, very receptive and uh, you know always welcoming. I feel Mom's Village. I, I have a personal connection with Mom's Village. I always have. I'm, I'm very grateful for Mom's Village. Um, so when I started, how I started is um, uh, I think everyone knows I'm Rika. I'm the founder of First Foods. I'm a biomedical engineer by profession, actually. So when I came to Malaysia, I got married and I came to Malaysia about five years back. So when I came to Malaysia, I didn't know anyone there. I was working in the infection control sector of 3M in Dubai. So the country was new. Uh, the people were new. Everything was absolutely new to me. I didn't know anyone there. And I'm a perfect introvert. <laughs> I was just happy and content sitting at home and my husband earning and everything. I was, I was happy. And then I became pregnant. I thought, okay, let me just postpone the job hunting for a while because I'm pregnant. I need to deliver. I need to take care of the baby. So I thought, let me just postpone it. But um, it, I, it soon became bored. I was just bored out of my wits. I didn't know what to do. And then I came across a Facebook group called TU where so many women were posting about their individual skill set. They were so creative, be it right from cooking to, you know, various things. I was just astounded because staying at home and doing something was a new concept for me. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't know that people would just buy from you. I'm still amazed that someone who doesn't know me will buy from me. So that was a new thing and that inspired me. So I sat up thinking, what am I good at? And I didn't know the answer. I was just waiting for a few months. So mm -hmm. th the same to you helped me because someone was asking about recipes for eight months old kids. And uh, I happened to have an eight month kid at that time and I had done a lot of trial and error research. So I suggested a few things and uh, they said, it, it's complicated. Could you please make it for us? And that's how it started. So mm -hmm. I started making it for that one person and now I'm doing it for two years. I have about six products in my in my portfolio. I plan to add a couple more soon. And okay. I've been very 
I, I'm very blessed to have a lot of people have been uh, supporting me uh, right from Rose. I, I went for digital marketing class with you about one year back, I think, or more than yeah, that. Yeah, so, it's been a year plus. <laughs> yeah. So from then, it's it, it's an ongoing journey, I would say. Okay, that's nice. Yes, when you started that time after the bazaar, you actually attended the digital marketing class, and from there, I have seen a lot of growth in you and i'm very 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 proud of you okay it's like every time i talk about success story of my participants you are one of them that's really uh, so who has never give up and always continue to do something and create something yeah good job on that okay thank you thank you so much and what actually inspired you to come out of your comfort zone and to be an entrepreneur what is that that inside you that made you think that you want to actually do something um i was a very busy person before marriage i was working in the weekends i used to be out with my friends i had a life i was recognized in my office i was recognized with my friends there was i thought when i married and i came there i missed myself after a certain period of time and i thought i should do something to rediscover myself that is when i started with this so I, I, and also when i started a lot started seeing a lot of women doing a lot of things online i thought you know so many people are doing it i'm just sitting at home and and i'm still trying to find myself so it, for me that was that was a big push because i didn't want to sit at home i didn't want to just be someone's mother or someone's house uh, someone's wife i wanted to create an identity for myself and i'm still trying to do that i'm halfway through that i would say <laughs> not uh, not come not even halfway maybe 10% there but uh, whenever i feel um, you know am i doing it right or things are not moving forward i always that urge that, that, that is still giving me that you should you should do something making an identity for yourself and now i'm very happy because when someone says that they know reka i'm happy because they know me not as someone's wife or not as someone's mother they know me i i am this is a path of rediscovery for me interesting nice like this amazing thing to yeah it's always so nice to be acknowledged uh, as ourselves yeah. yes yes um yeah how was starting this business change your life you know of course all of us start up something and then um we stop it halfway and uh, some people just want to have you know the, the, the urge of starting up something and just trying out few other things but how did starting this change your life for real uh i was very hesitant in starting because uh, as i said i'm a perfect introvert when i went for rose digital marketing class i was so scared to go because i couldn't sit in a place where i don't know anyone i i was like how am i going to sit in a place from 9 to 4 without talking to anyone that was my first thought <laughs> so it, it has it, it, whenever i started and when someone asked me some questions i used to become very scared do i know this what if people don't buy from me i had a lot of uh, downs i would say when someone says are you sure this is the right product i would still question myself is it true is it true but uh, what i did when when people started questioning about the product what i did to reaffirm myself was i did a nutritional testing so that is not just for my customers to know about the credibility of the product it's also to reassure me so whenever i feel that uh whenever i feel the sales is not good or it's not as much as i expected then i would think back and say when the store bought commercials when they can sell it i know the product is not as good i know there's a lot of uh carbohydrates in it i know there's a lot of sugar in it first i thought i should trust my product when i trust my product other people will trust my product so whenever i feel down i always say no you know the product is good and you're pushing it forward i think that is something i learned when i was working they say when when you trust your product only then you can sell so i started trusting my own product i started uh, researching more about the the goodness the nutrient the, the, the nutritional value of the products and now i'm very reassured about, about it even now i'm here in india for about a month i'm still very scared that when i come back my business won't be that good but now i have the confidence that it's okay even if two people buy from me i still make the product for them I think that is one Very thing I have gained from it the confidence level because from someone who doesn't even know to go and stand in front of a crowd of unknown people now I have a confidence 
that now i'm urging my husband to do business <laughs> so mm-hmm. that, that is the con- that is the kind of conference is close how cool to. is that how cool is that <laughs> <laughs> That's very nice. So yeah, like- I think um, yeah, we have bloomed a lot. I mean, I've seen you from the day you started um, your business, and your your innovation keeps coming, and you have a few range of products. And of course, with all this, it gives you a financial independence, right? Yeah. True. So, what does this financial independence means to you? Financial independence. I think it's. Um, uh as you always say it's very 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 important for women because uh, that that makes you stand out that gives you that identity um I, i always insist my sister now because she's studying and i say no education and money is always important and now i'm in i'm in a state where even if my husband doesn't have a job i should be able to support the family or my kid so uh i think two years back i came to india that was after one year or six months of my business and when i came to india i was able to buy my mom a new phone and i was able to buy bring my own money for spending here that that gives you an immense happiness when you're able to spend for your mom or for your kid or for anyone uh, i think that is something that women can experience only after you know only after you start doing it spending yeah. your own money gaining your own single penny it makes a lot of difference to oneself Okay. For I me, agree. it is. It is. Correct. It's my freedom, and from that, I, I have now gotten my own car. It's a small car, but I'm very happy about it because I do contribute to the car's premium. So, it, it's given me an an individuality. I am standing out as my own person. Yeah, good job, Indira. Good job. Good job. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Rika. Yeah. Very good job. <laughs> Yeah, financial independence also, um, you know, builds the self-esteem of women. So it's not only about the money; it, it's also the self, the self uh, satisfaction, self, yeah, uh, self uh, that will allow you to fund a lot of your dreams. You know, making yes. your dream come true, and no one can take it away from you. You know, like I always said, uh, I have a campaign called hashtag Ten Ringgit Stay Home Mom. Yeah, I yeah. Want to earn that Ten Ringgit a day. So that's my benchmark, and for that ten ringgit, you're able to at least buy a meal for yourself. So that satisfaction, I want more women to experience. And thank you so much, Reka, for advocating that as well. And uh, yeah, good job. And of course, financial independence. You also have uh, a full range of products. Um, I, I'll take it over to Rosalind to speak about that. Yeah, I know you have a wonderful range of products. You know, even created one for me when you don't have it in hand. <laughs> so you, I am amazed with your innovation. So probably you can share with us your best-selling product that you have in hand, and what actually made you to come up with that, and uh, maybe a bit of uh, share a bit about the best of best that you have. Okay. So uh, my best-selling product ever since I started is Satmaavu or the multi-grain health mix. So it can be given from uh, kids about eight months to toddlers, teens, or even adults. It is a very versatile drink. It can be made to porridge, drink. You can bake it, make cookies with it, uh, make bread or pan. You know, pancakes. It's so versatile. You can even make desserts, the Indian desserts with it. So that is all I have. Uh, I have tried. I have ventured into. But maybe uh, the 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 home. Uh, you know, the the cooks they can say uh, what what else can be made. Uh, that is my star product, and um, that is how I started with. That's the first product that uh, I started with. Uh, the next bestseller at the moment. Actually, my bestseller keeps changing every month. That's but, nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The moment I actually think maybe this product is not doing a good sales and I should leave it, I'll have one customer who's ordering one kg from me. So they'll be like, "Oh no, Rekha, see, there's one customer and you need to make it for them." That's how it. I I I try to go for the next month. So the next product is uh, homemade ghee. So anyone who has tried the ghee will find the difference between the homemade product and the one that has been brought from the stores. I even once had um, a Chinese customer who. who went into an ayurvedic uh, form and uh, her doctor asked her to eat ghee she tried from different brands and she couldn't find or you know she she wasn't satisfied with it she said me that the taste was so overwhelming 
she did a google search she did a facebook search and she finally found me she was in the vicinity so i went and delivered to her mm-hmm. and now she is my regular customer she mm-hmm. says now i make coffee and tea with yogi which even i don't make wow so, <laughs> I, I, yeah so i these things give me confidence you know because when uh, ghee when you talk to an indian community they know what ghee is they know the benefits and they use it but someone who doesn't know about it uh, is, is trying to you know is willing to give it a sh- uh, give it a try so uh, at the moment ghee and satmaavu are my top products though uh, though sprouted ragi is trying to give it a good competition i would say <laughs> I also have Himalayan pink salt and um, organic mm-hmm. almonds, but uh, the the top seller or the best seller would be Satmaavu and Ghee. I'm sorry for that. Okay, yes, I want to add on to your Satmaavu and the Ghee, which when I first tried your Satmaavu, it was I actually made dosa for my son and he loved it. and your ghee is like a super food for my second boy every day his food definitely your ghee is part of his meal so whenever we feed him with the the smell is so nice and our friend will go like mm, nom 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 so we are used to say ah okay perfect i got my perfect meal ready for them so yes i love <laughs> your products as well <laughs> what you have tried to so support you Yes, I have tried uh, Rekha's um, Satmaavu, which is the multigrain uh, powder. I used to mix it with the Tosa, uh, Tosa, you know, to make Tosa, so that it increases the nutritional value of the uh, Tosa. Of course, it's already high protein um, and uh, carbohydrate balanced meal. But with this, uh, it also increases the uh, nutritional value. That I just add in a little bit of um, what they call that. Uh, bananas and all that and make a pancake and all those kind of things yeah so her powder actually increases the nutritional value of whatever that i'm giving to my children it's also healthy it's also organic it's also um something that has been tried and tested from another mother so i would any time buy it yeah true okay so let's see okay let's just uh, see on the screen if there's any questions from the viewers So before we start our rapid fire, Rika, this one you go to answer it very fast, okay? <laughs> do I get a do, do I get a gift a voucher or a parcel like you know how they give in coffee with parcel? <laughs> I can pass you a voucher parcel from here. Yeah. Um, but when you come back to Malaysia, yeah. Malaysia, yeah. Malaysia, yeah. Malaysia, 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 Mal Yeah, yeah. You know, I, was, you guys I think we're all, yeah. yeah, all going back to basics. Yeah, we're all going back to basics. We might even, you know, we're all going back to basics. So we might even need to train a pigeon to send over a parcel to you. So yeah. we just wait until we train our pigeon, <laughs> like training a dragon. Correct. So then I'll I think that's the only form of transport now. So yeah, that might work. It. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> guys, right. thank so, you. Yeah. Thank you. So, You have any questions? Please ask us. Feel free to ask anything. Rekha is good, and she can even share with you a recipe which is the uh, which suitable for your toddlers. And uh, she gave me actually a list of e-books initially when I got her at the mall. So you can ask any question if you want from here. Okay. After this, we will also put in her her Facebook name. You can click her page, like her page. And you can contact her for an item. So before I go into our rapid fire session, I would like to open up to see if anybody here would like to ask us something. Dawa M. Shaila said hello, everyone. Rika said hi to you. And uh, Vijaya Lakshmi said awesome, Gee Rika. So you have a fan here as well. Okay. <laughs> okay. So okay. There's not much questions here. I'm sure some of them will be in later. And I think the rain is quite heavy outside, so probably people's network are not as good as it is. We are also finding a good thing here. Okay. Okay. Now let's start our rapid fire. I'm so excited about this rapid fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What makes you smile? In general, it's actually my son. I sh- I would be a typical mother and say it's my son, 
but uh, what makes me smile the first thing that came to my mind is my son actually but a good song a good book so many things make me smile that's nice i smile even if i'm awkward so <laughs> <laughs> okay what time will you go to bed every night every night in malaysia the normal routine would be around 11 because okay. now my son is going to kindergarten i'm forced to get up early so right. it's it's generally 11 but now in india i'm enjoying my holidays and going to bed only at 1 <laughs> oh that's nice <laughs> that's way past yeah. the bedtime with the malaysian time yeah the perks of being in my mom's house i don't do any work so when i get up there's a hot plate of breakfast waiting it for me so oh I can how jealous am i my own face <laughs> What are you getting? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Last time you laughed very hard and out loud. When was it? Do you remember? Yeah, I think it was last real night. Real laughter. No, uh, real laughter. I think now I'm having a lot of it even every day because uh, I'm actually from a joint family. and luckily or unfortunately we all my entire family flew down here to see my son so it's about eight of us in the home now so we we are having a uh, a uh, ruckus every day i even complained them saying that the neighbors are going to complain about us because we are supposed to be in lockdown and we are always having so much fun <laughs> it's a good one <laughs> yeah okay. two things you could change about yourself is there anything um yeah um i feel i'm still um uh, i'm still not very outgoing i'm not very spontaneous i always come back and think ah i should have said this and not that <laughs> so that's one thing and uh, i i want to change my 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 uh, my outgoing nature more i want to be more of an extrovert i still hesitate a lot i i doubt myself a lot that's one of the reasons why i never go live i'm always very scared <laughs> Okay, but I'm sure now you're not scared, right? After this, you can go live any time that you want, right? Yeah, actually, this is a good starting point for me. Okay, I think Watsala had some issues with the internet. She's gone, yeah. so <laughs> she'll come back soon. Okay, yeah. So after this, the the fear would have gone out, and I'm sure you can do a lot of live video after this. and i really would like you to do hi what's welcome back so sorry <laughs> yeah the line is really bad <laughs> so yeah, sorry it's raining so heavy so right. yeah so we will do oh, a lot okay. more cooking from you hopefully oh yeah yeah now, now, now i think yeah this is this is giving me a confidence of going live i always think that every week once i should go live make some recipes and share because i i cook 3 days i cook 3 meals a day every time i never share wow. So okay, I'm I'm going to start doing that. <laughs> yeah, please do. It will inspire most of us here. <laughs> I cook two days, yeah. two meals a day. So I go like, oh my god, what do I cook for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> And Rika is a vegetarian, right? You you cook vegetarian meals yeah. extremely well, right? Yeah. So do share your tips. Yes. So Facebook yeah, or Instagram, I which is your I, favorite? I, yeah, I think once I'm back, I would start posting more and being more active because I always think. who would want to look at vegetarian cooking who would be want you know who would be interested in this that that is also one of the things i would like to change about myself i always doubt and hesitate i want to eradicate those things from me no way yeah, a lot of people who are vegetarian recipes a lot of them yes i mean if <laughs> okay. there are some lame memes and uh, jokes that can go around something beneficial for the people and community and for mothers should also be appreciated so yeah just go on those who want to follow will definitely follow you don't worry yeah. about it correct yeah thanks yeah 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 i would do that <laughs> okay sorry i did something okay my next question facebook or instagram which is your favorite facebook i still suck at instagram that's why i keep asking you to keep an instagram class so i can join <laughs> Hi, five, 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 five,
So what chores do you hate the most that you don't like doing? Uh, I hate, I love making ghee, but I hate the cleanup after that. Okay. Your, I mean, there's just ghee everywhere. Now I'm trying my husband to help me in the cleanup. <laughs> Every okay. time I make a ghee, even while making, I'll be, I'll be like dreading the cleanup process because it's it's really hard. You know how ghee is, right? It sticks everywhere, yeah. and I'd be transferring to two, three big, big vessels, and I'd be like, oh my god, should I continue this next time? <laughs> okay, you should continue. Please don't give up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And what motivates you? You know, everybody has this thing that calls self motivate right? So what actually motivates you to keep on going? Uh, I think mostly when I'm, I'm a very, very, very lazy person, actually. I tend to procrastinate a lot. So it, it, my family, everyone used to tease me about it. If we say you something now, it will happen only after 10 minutes minimum, even if it's bringing a cup of water. <laughs> so okay. I'm that kind of a person. Uh, so what motivates me is every morning I get up, uh, if any message that I get from anyone, be it my customers or anyone asking about my product, be it just an inquiry or an order, mm. I'd be happy even to receive an inquiry because I'll feel, okay, there's someone wanting this kind of product. And for me, this is personally, I feel very happy because uh, it's not any business. It's about baby foods and directly or indirectly, I'm helping out. I'm helping a mother out. I'm mm. helping in feeding a food, uh, a good food to a child, a good nutritious food to a child. So it gives me a personal happiness about it. Any any time anyone says my child liked it, I'll be very happy. I can imagine. <laughs> okay, great. So that motivates you. Well, that kind of review always motivates any of us to start something, right? So it always makes yeah, us feel yeah. good when they say, they say that, oh, you know what? Your product made some difference with me. Your services helped me to do this. So yeah. this is the kind of validation normally we look forward for so that it keeps us going all the time. Thank you for the answer, Rita. Yeah. And who you love the most? Myself. Oh, I love that. Bye, bye. <laughs> yeah. Now all these people have been like already molded. <laughs> Yeah, look at yeah. yourself first, look at yourself first. <laughs> <laughs> so, the what's the last voice of love yourself, love yourself, and God Actually, yes, a lot of being, you know, yeah, she, she has influenced me a lot. Honestly, I'm not talking talk with her every day or anything like that but i i'm a very silent follower of Vatsla and what does she post i always i never comment on facebook unless and until i feel it's going to add value or you know if there's something that only i can say else i never mm -hmm. comment so mm -hmm. I, I i generally don't comment a lot to Vatsla's anything be it a motivational or anything but i feel you know i should i should follow that rather than just commenting or liking it i should follow that Okay, good. So a lot of it has been Vatsila's vibes, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I'm what? slowly changing that mindset early in the morning, night, evening, you know, in between. It's like, you eat, sleep with me <laughs> every time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So my next question will be, what makes you feel sexy? Sorry, what makes you feel? I didn't hear the last I am someone who hasn't been, you know, I, I never pay much attention to my physical appearance. I used to when I was in college, I used to dress up well and all that, but now not so much actually. Again, that is something Vatsla used to say. Uh, I'm trying to uh, get that back because when you dress well, you feel good. It gives you a confidence. But you know what? So you can I'm... even rock a uh, lungi or uh, 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 you know just as a this normal baju that baju kelawa we call it. You know, or even like lungi. You know, you can just make a lungi dance and you still can look sexy. I mean, like Deepika <laughs> Padukone looks so <laughs> sexy in that. Yeah, yeah. Very, I'm not just wearing a lungi. Deepika is sexy, you know, Rika. Just wearing a red lipstick alone can make you look sexy. Oh, yeah, yeah. and sometimes intelligence is also very sexy. I'm sure that, yeah. that it's a that sexy yeah. part of you. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't need to dress up sexy to look sexy. <laughs> it's more of how do you yeah. for me? Uh, even like wearing a red lipstick, being confident of standing up and 
and in a crowd when you sit and see you that's why i'm with the red lipstick today red background oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, cool. And your last question is going to be: Which woman empowerment movie acted by Jodhika is your favorite? Thirty-six by Sile, Katri Mori, Agnir Matam, Rajasi, Nachiar. Which? I like Katri Mori. I haven't, I haven't watched Nachiar and one more. No, I haven't right. watched it. I, okay. I, yeah, I don't watch many movies actually. Uh, mm. But I love Cartoon Mori because as a mother, I thought there's a lot of things you could relate to it. I really enjoyed the movie and how she is fighting for, fighting to do something, to be someone. Okay, yeah. So I, I really like that movie. Okay. Thank you very much, Rika. Your hamper is reaching the end. Your bag is going to fall. Yes, it passed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And our uh, training officers will definitely reach you up soon. Don't worry about yeah, that. Yeah, correct. So, what is there anything you would like to add first before we end? No, it's so happy to see women who are actually financially independent, um, independent as their own, as identity financially. Uh, I think, uh, for me, person like me, uh, when I see women doing that, it kind of gives me uh, my satisfaction. You know, it's like okay, I've done my part in this world, and I'm so happy. Like even if I, you know, um, it, it's my it's my vision that I really want to see watch women doing that, especially stay at home mom. So I think you are one of the role models for other women as well. So keep up the good work, Reka, um, because. You know, in future, you don't know who are you inspiring. Definitely, uh, just keep doing your good job. And you don't thank know you, how thank many you. people. When you don't know how many people today, after watching, is going to be inspired to take the next step and and create something and say that, okay, Reka has actually inspired me doing this. I'm sure many of them will be doing that. Okay, looking forward to seeing you back in Malaysia soon. Let's hope all this has been done. Oh yes, I'm, I'm waiting for that too. And it's good to have Thank a good so conversation much. with uh, all of y'all compared to just being in the house and talking about other yeah, things. Yeah, and yeah, talking about yeah. anything else yeah. than housework, what's the menu, and uh, having a <laughs> real interaction with human being, it's very, very satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Take true. care of yourself. Yeah, Take it, care it, of yourself. It's, it's been a good break. Thank yeah. you so much again for having me. Take care, you both too. All right. Sure. Take care. See you. Bye. Okay. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, let's do that. Wait, 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 wait. We have wait, to wait, do wait. the mom's village post. Ah, yeah. Okay, my son is here, so. Ah, okay. To... So let's do it together. Okay, let's do it. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, baby. No. Hi, baby. Hi, oh, baby. <laughs> Hi, baby. You're baby, okay. I come back to you, Amma. I cry. You come back, okay. You come back with Amma and I cry. <laughs> okay, do you want to give it back? Your mother back to you. Okay, we are giving her back to you. <laughs> okay, yeah, the mother is okay. calling her. <laughs> okay, bye, Rekha. Thank you so much okay. for spending the evening with us. Bye. Bye, and okay. stay at Thank home, you so all right? Thanks for having me again. Thanks for the okay. opportunity. All right. Thank bye, you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Bye bye. 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 Bye b